Hey there everybody, what's going on? Ben here. About to challenge Tamer AG. <coughs> and of course, just gonna go through the team right quick. Just so you all know what's going down. Got Mega Lucario with enough speed to outspeed Heliolisk, which is the fastest thing Lucario can outspeed in his speed tier. Extreme speed, meter mash, close combat, and substitute. Physically offensive, of course. Tornadus, um, mostly a, a support, uh, to gain momentum. Hurricane, U-Turn, Toxic, and Defog also deals with Lucha fairly well. Salt Vest, Curum Black to deal with his Kyogre and hopefully his Kingdra counterpart. Outrage, Fusion Bolt, Ice Beam, and Meteor. Draco Meteor. Seismitoad, another answer to his Kyogre if that's how it goes. Stealth Rock, Toxic, Sludge Wave, and Earth Power. Threaten Darm if it comes along. Rocky Helmet Arcanine with Extreme Speed, Morning Sun, Roar, and Wild Charge. Roar, of course, to phase out Sub-SD um, Lucha, which he has. And Gligar with Roost, Toxic, Earthquake, Aerial, Ace. Physically defensive to take on Darm. So I'm gonna look up his name right quick. <clears throat> Go to Ubers, grab the team, and pray to God. Let's see what he decides to bring. So, uh, funnily enough, I actually just finished barbecuing with my father for dinner. I got a nice, nice plate of tuber. <laughs> Did you look at that? Exactly what I expected, almost. Minus the darm. I actually didn't expect the darm to come, but that's fine because I'm prepped for it. Fuck you mean. Ugh. Fine. So he says, in before he was scouting my team to see what I bring. <laughs> Not actually saying that seriously, of course. He brought some volley instead of darm. Wow! Amazing! <laughs> this is actually what I was expecting. Now, of course, what are some massive things I need to worry about? Shuckle webs, of course, but I've got torn for that. No big deal. Of course, the combination of rain and the terrain. So, Volley's typing also matters quite a bit. I don't know what the typing is. <sighs> Even turtle, huh? Getting the analyst to help you out? Damn, man, that's not fair. Okay, well. He's probably Slavali Ghost then. All things expected, because Slavali Ghost walls out Mega Lucario pretty damn hard. I'm gonna take a bite of this fucking burger before it gets cold. Oh, God. <laughs> Steel! You're gross! I'm sorry. Plus side. It's steel. And moist dolphinately. Not walling Lucario. I'm gonna ignore spectators here real quick. Don't want to have a repeat of the battle versus Tristanity in um, the APL. So now, of course, he's got to wonder if I've got Heat Wave or not, and what he's doing back. Uh, I gotta crack down that window. Yeah. Find the calculator. I don't know if I actually am imported this team, so I'm just gonna do it. Uh, I changed the torn spread at the last second. Don't take anything this guy dishes out relatively well. I'm just looking to U-turn out, of course. Now, of course, the question is, what do I go? Do I go Frob? Do I go Lucario? I'm honestly thinking to go Frob here. But that gives him a free Bulu switch in damn near all the time, which is fine. But if I go Lucario and he goes for a flamethrower... 
I think Ricardo is marching into there. I don't know though. Lecker's not great. I'll go Lucario here. I think Lucario's a play. Oh! Look at that! The plays! Uh, so he literally does not have a close combat switch in. Um, Lucario. The fuck circus. Into Silvali. Steel. Steel, steel, steel. Defensive. Gets absolutely blown away by close combat. Who would have ever guessed? Um, I always think I go for substitute here. Just to test him out. Yep. Fuckle in the box. Huh? Plus the attack boost. Oh no! Well, that's fine. Always go for Fusion Bolt here, I think. The red card, sh the red card Shuckle, oh wow. I'm just gonna do not disturb on that real quick. And of course, Fuckle goes down. <coughs> That's rather unfortunate, actually. <clears throat> I know at the web's up, I need to somehow manage well. It doesn't really matter that much, it only really matters for Kieran Black and Lucario. The rest speed the rest of my team's speed tiers don't really matter. Um, I should also mention that Arcanine has enough attack in. Where I believe Wild Charge into extreme speed on full HP each of kills. He opts to go so low again. I go Torn here. How much is this thing gonna do with Torn? Marginally nothing, and then I could just regenerate her out. <clears throat> 25. Peanuts! And now, based on his switch in here, we can make. Oh, wow, he actually didn't swap out at all. Hurting shot. Ah, that explains that. So, based on what he goes out to here, this thing's either Scarf or it's Assault List. Either way... Now, see, this is the problem here, is because... Either I keep this or I swap out. Or I check to see if it's Scarf. I'm almost 100% certain this thing is fucking Scarf, so I want to go Seismitoad here. I think. I'll go the Toad. Here. He went steel. I see. <clears throat> Toxic. That's fine. Earth power. Boom. Thirty-three minus spadef too. Wow. <coughs> now, do I want to click sludge wave, predicting the blue switch? And I do. I'm feeling zesty. <gasps> do it. Do it. Oh my god. I'm feeling zesty. Come on. Yes. <gasps> That did 53. That's a lot of damage. Ooh, that's that's mmm, that's good. That's some good damage. Obviously, my only switch into this thing is Arcanine, unless I want to go Lucario, which I don't. I want to keep Lucario healthy to try and maintain good uh, priority and momentum against his team. With the rocks, but uh, with the um, <clears throat> webs gone on his team and no opportunity to bring up rocks, I'm actually sitting at a really good position where I don't even need to worry about defog on uh, Tornadus anymore. 53% is also a really good ship, uh, even if he is grassy, uh, getting that grassy train recovery back. Hmm. That's really good. That did not do enough for, for you, sir. Now, he obviously switches out here probably into Ogre. I'm going to wild charge here, predicting that, since I don't even have Flare Blitz. <clears throat> he knows that I'm Rocky Element, so he's probably guessing that I'm also defensive and don't have speed investments. But I'm fairly certain he should switch out here. For 
fear of the flare, flare blitz. Of course, he probably wants to keep Blue around. He actually didn't switch out. That's fucking crazy. Guess we'll just peace people. No, he just went right back out and over. Alright, now I'm expecting him to go for a different move when I try to switch into a frog here. So I'll go Kieran Black this time. Oh, that's fine. We know he's not Scarf, so I obviously outspeed this. He doesn't get his terrain boost either. This is perfect. I'm almost uh, willing to bet he's going to go Sivali here, actually. Nah, he just goes down. We don't have to worry about the Lucha speed up. Wow, which doesn't even matter at the end of the day. <laughs> wow, this is going well so far. Bite of that burger. As he goes to the draw. Now, what matters here is whether or not Kingdra is special. Because even if he specs, Draco has a very minimal chance to actually kill him. Oh, no, hold on, that's what I'm Uh, if he's Draco Specs, he outright kills, but if he isn't, I get the kill on him. Hmm. While this is my Ogre switching, I want to chance it. It could be either or. I just deed it. I just Draco on this thing and get rid of it. Boom! Gone! Get out! Get out! Get out of here! <laughs> Absolutely insane. You expected me to switch out on that, but... I quit. Literally do not have a switch into that mon whatsoever. Go for the fusion bolt here. Unless he goes for the kick. This is a hard call, actually. Uncle Gligar here. Yep. He had to go for that. He didn't have a choice. I'll just go for the aerial ice. No point in thinking about this too hard. I've got switches for Ogre. I'm doing pretty damn good. Yep. Aerial ice. 49! That's a lot of damage. Drain punch. Eat it up. That's a crit for 23%, might I say. That works so easily. Toxic here, just in case he decides to swap out for whatever reason. Fine by me. Mm. Take another bite of that bird! Big thick man comes out. How do I not know how to spell Kyogre? I spell Kyogre every single time. Um, I want to see when Kyogre hits someone. Um, Moby Thick. Let me search up Moby Thick. There's somewhere in here where he used orange and pull. Oh, no, wait, he didn't hit for damage. Really. So I still don't know his set. I'm just gonna go through him. It's my AV set, it's my switch in. He went for grass, expecting it. I'm just gonna finish the bolt here. Bada bitch! That did 38, that's enough damage, he's just dead. And I go for the fusion bolt, hopefully for the kill here. Well, actually, I'm more than certain it actually does, just to kill. It does 47 to 56, so yeah, it's at that threshold. Oh no, that's the wrong mod. Whatever. Wow! What a battle. Let's check out that spectator. those spectators. Oh, I couldn't see.
Wow, that was a really good battle for me. And it was just a fun battle period, actually. I was so damn scared of his team. It was seriously something. Wow. Who else did we have watching this? Storm and Gliscor. I'm gonna... Excuse me, gonna have to go through the replay. And see if they said anything. Mm. <coughs> Did he get the replay? No, he didn't. Get the replays. Oh, no, he's getting it right now. So, what to take away from this? Um, The Shunko red card was great on his part. Though, unfortunately, he didn't have Rock's pressure or um, Web's pressure anymore because it was so easy to get rid of it, thanks to Lucario, of course. He had the grass for uh, Frob, what I, which I expected. Um, but Frob did his job amazingly. And especially Kieran Black here. Big Black beat down. Ooh, that boy. Um, <laughs> what do you mean you guessed, Land Turtle? Man. <laughs> That was, that's sorry, that's sorry, um, Tamer, that was rather rude of me. It was fun playing against you, really, it was. Uh, of course, the Bulu switch in was quite a bad misplay. Let's just go through the thing here right quick, actually. I can go slow. So, of course, Savali Steel. Um, I was actually surprised to see him bring Savali, knowing that I have, of course, Lucario. Lucario never has a problem with this ever. So uh, yeah, let's just go back into this right now. Uh, he goes Shuckle here. And of course, I have the sub, which is no big problem. And I could just go immediately for Meteor Mash. I'm so sad that this thing lived. Does Red Card even trigger if the user dies? I don't know. But of course, I get swapped out into Big Black Beatdown and he gets his web slip. Not a big deal because I can easily pull into um, Kyogre eventually. Oh, he's talking about the spread. Uh. So yeah, of course, while so while Savali is like pretty good, I don't think it really makes that much of a difference against my team. I of course have. Torn here, and I have Lucario, and I have Kieran. Even if it is supposed to be my his Kieran Black answer, Kieran Black still gets access to like Focus Blast and Earth Power anyway. Yeah, so uh, he flash cannons, of course. Not a big deal, I can just defog away next turn. It's going through the battle again, it's fairly easy. This is also for Tamer's benefit. Um, while I think Springs to Volley was smart, I don't think it was quite the right typing. Like, wh what's it stopping on my team? Really nothing. It comes in once on whatever move whichever of these mons is going for and then just hits with a different super effective move. Well, yeah, of course, Toad comes in. Eats the origin pulse, that's what I was thinking. Of course, right back out. And then of course the earth power into the sludge wave Bulu prediction. That was pretty pretty fire. Thank you to uh Storm for uh well I I say that. I originally didn't have I usually I originally did have sludge wave on Frog, but I got rid of it in for knockoff instead. And then he convinced me to bring it back to Sludge Wave and gave me a totally different set to use to predict the Bulu switch in. Which honestly worked perfectly having the Savali here. The Earth Power into the, into the Sludge Wave was honestly perfect. And then of course, uh, if I had Flare Blitz on this set, I would have been able to just get rid of Bulu right away right here. 
and it would have been fairly easy, I'd say. Uh, from that point on, I wouldn't definitely have, wouldn't have worried about grassy terrain. I definitely thought he was going into ogre there or something, but no, he opted to stand in rock slide, which did literally peanuts. Um, <coughs> skip forward a turn. Excuse me. He gets the drizzle off, and I of course just e speed for the chip. Twenty twenty five is some clean damage, might I add. And of course, the grassy terrain missed switch in. That was just unfortunate for him. Um, but yeah, like, of course at the end of the day, the, like, I need to show this calc here. So the main problem, oh, this is specs, by the way. Let me just change it to, like, a life orb. So, life orb Draco. Um, so let's just quickly look over a Kingdra. Because if he, it was physical. Ugh. Let's try a physical set. Because he was obviously D Dance, right? Son of a bitch, I stopped the recording. Hopefully it's still good. I did it over again. So let's try Outrage. Level 100. See. Oh, it's not modest adamant. See, now this would have been a problem if he managed to get the outrage off. If he if he did outrage, or Z dragon, Z dragon or whatever, it would have been a lot of a different problem. It would have been a lot of a different battle actually. Uh, but then I would have only had to get rid of two more turns of rain. Mm, I don't know. I think I might have still won. I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I honestly don't even know if I'm going to keep um, this all in the video, but uh, there we go. I mean, it, this was pretty nice, especially the f Life Orb at the Draco actually hitting. <laughs> but it sucked if I missed. Of course, the Glagar switch in pretty easy here. Don't need to worry about it too much. Just get rid of it. Uh, in retrospect, I should have Aerial Aced here for damage anyway, even if Savali did come out. Airlace definitely wouldn't have missed, and um, uh, Toxic does have the chance to at 90%. And of course, Big Black comes out, just eats the HP grass, which was a crit, by the way, that did 16. That's crazy. And then just beat him down with a couple fusion bolts, and that's it. Alright, let's see some of these comments too, though. Oof, the sludge. Yeah, Goliath score. There we go. I'm stupid, I thought. Damn it. Wow, sex terrain. I lost ammo. Uh oh. Oh, step paralyzes the counter. Is the crit? Well. Wait, HP ice? No. Electric grass. Yeah, this set was. Fun. Okay, yeah. There we go. Uh, that's all I have to say on that. GG. Who am I even against next week? Let's take a quick look. Uh, <clears throat> just to, just to see and say. God, this video is gonna be twenty minutes. <laughs> Maybe I won't keep this. Let's see. Oh, schedule. Actually, I could just check this. I'm an idiot. I'm against Lux next week. Who's is Lux's team? The Ottawa Lux race, probably. Oh no. So this is the team I'm battling next week. I got the Zapdos Mega Meta Defensive Core. This team's fairly scary, but double Rotom, hello? And Shark, hmm. There, but there we go, yeah, I'm done. Um, GG again. And yeah, next week we're against Lux and time to find out what the hell's going on. Whew.